my 100th video I'm planning to do a setup video. I'm about 30% uh, with my setup. I know a lot of people think what's the big deal, just throw all your computers together in a corner, plug them all in and do a setup video, but I, I'm setting up a heavy duty um, desk and I'm actually putting a bookcase on top of the desk over to the side so that'll give me a number of shelving units in front of me because within that shelving unit I'm going to be putting my shuttle PC my monitor USB hub uh, 10 inch DVD player portable DVD player I'm going to have two speaker systems one for the DVD player and one for the Windows PC I'm going to have my laser printer on the top of it I'm going to have card readers in there. I'm going to have my connection for my iPhone. Um, so it, it, there's going to be a lot of stuff going into that. And then I'm going to have a small table next to it, which is dedicated just for Macintosh use, which will, I think, be this power uh, book. Um, if I do get around to selling the MacBook Pro. I won't have as much need for the wireless system I got. I think I will keep the wireless keyboard just so I can sit back a bit further as I'm typing on this machine. Because this has wireless and Bluetooth, the wireless keyboard will work. The wireless mouse, mouse I just really don't like it. So I think when I set up this computer, I'll leave the uh, my bamboo tablet plugged into it and just use that as a mouse. This I imagine is going to take some time. It still hasn't told me how much time remaining. It's still calculating. I've noticed the difference between Windows and Mac OS X OS X. Um, time remaining calculating my shuttle PC which is 2.4 gigahertz core 2 duo 2 gig RAM Radeon 9250 uh, video card anytime I'm doing any work on there where it needs to calculate the time remaining it always calculates quite accurately in fact it usually gets done before its calculated time Macintosh, I don't know, I've done this a few times, like in um, in iMovie, when uh, putting a movie together for YouTube. It'll tell you calculating time remaining, it'll always say at first less than one minute, and then it'll jump up to one minute, two minutes, and it'll keep increasing the time remaining. I did a nine minute video the other day, and it took about 11 minutes to uh, make the iMovie out of it. So yeah, I know iMovie seems to be a lot fancier than the Windows Movie Maker, but I'm not about making fancy movies, I'm just about making simple movies. So as far as I'm concerned, um, Windows Movie Maker is perfect for YouTube videos. I have noticed on this PowerBook that the uh, screen fades I guess as a power saving method, I haven't been able to figure out how to uh, change that. Especially when plugged in, there's no point for it to go dim when it's plugged in. Well, I could sit here for the next hour yapping away, but uh, I'm going to try and keep this down to no more than two or three videos. I'm probably up about eight minutes by now yapping. Um, for anyone interested, I am. I did put in my resignation to my job. I will be leaving. September 5th will be my last scheduled day of work. Um, I have not yet got the job at my uh, previous employment, but I'm sure it will work out. I'm just waiting on for them to get some paperwork done. Not that I'm really too worried about it. I've had it in the back of my mind not only to go back to school for quite some time, I've also had in the back of my mind about going Greyhound. Yes, becoming a Greyhound bus driver. I like to drive, so I wouldn't mind long trips and 
fact I prefer them. And with Greyhound you can set up a schedule where let's say you begin work on a Thursday or a Friday and you work straight through until Monday. Weekends are the busiest time. You can do some distance driving and literally leave home for three or four days at a time. And then you're back free Tuesdays and Wednesdays to go to school. So um, that's a backup plan. But I'm quite sure I'll be driving at the former bus company I used to work at. And I'll be able to go to school Monday to Thursday mornings and then work afternoon and evenings and all day Friday and Saturday in the bus company. But that's a plan, and no, I'm not thinking about selling a lot of my computers because uh, I'm going broke or anything. I have money for a year of college put away, and I have, um, even though my new job will pay about $100 a week, maybe $150 a week less than I'm making now, that's pretty much been um, play money. I mean, I've been putting half of that away in savings and I've been playing with the other 60, 70, 80 bucks a week on U on uh, eBay buying little gadgets here and there so it just means I won't be getting as many toys but once I get my setup I might start doing videos about opinions and how to run programs okay here it says time remaining is 3 hours and 20 minutes wow I'm gonna be at work well before this is uh, done And obviously I'm not going to keep recording for 3 hours and 14 minutes. Um, well, I'm not going to be here when this computer reboots itself. So I hope there's nothing I have to do right away. I won't be back until after 3 o'clock today. Okay, uh, I don't know how many minutes I've gone in. I'll edit this a little bit for time. Another series of videos I'm thinking about doing once I get past my 100th are some bonsai videos. I've ordered a couple of uh, bonsai starter kits and bonsai seeds. I was always liked the idea of bonsai. I guess I became a fan of them with the original Karate Kid movies. So I'm going to uh, grow some bonsai. There's not much I can show you right now. Basically when you get the seeds you put a few of them into water and you let them sit there for 24 hours. The next day you wrap up the seeds in wet tissue paper and throw them in your refrigerator for about seven days. Then you open it up and hopefully some of those seeds have started to crack open. Those are the ones you stick into the dirt and um, you start watering them once a day. Um, and then they just slowly grow. Nothing too exciting about it but a little hobby I'm starting up. Uh, if you are doing bonsai, you really should start growing them in springtime so that they're strong enough by the time the winter comes around where they can actually survive outside with a little bit of protection. I'm starting a little bit late in the year, but um, I'm sure they'll be fine. Alright, that's me. I'll come back, uh, I guess, after work is done because I can't sit here for three hours. So. See everybody later and let you know how it went. Just a quick update. It has been 50 minutes, 5-0. And it now says there's 14 minutes remaining. So it does not take the 3 hours and 15 minutes it says it does. It looks like it's going to be just over an hour before we get to the next step. So we just might get this filmed and put together before I go to work today.